Hi, this is Cheryl Swalji from Astro Connections, and here with me I have Jill Daniels, and she's an Access Consciousness facilitator. Jill, tell us a little bit about Access Consciousness. Okay, well, Access Consciousness is founded by Gary Douglas in 1990 from Santa Barbara, California, and it actually offers a set of tools, techniques, and processes to empower an individual to change any area of their life. What kind of tools? Well, we have um, uh, tools like um, living within the question. So we have a lot of, as a facilitator, I have a lot of questions that I ask people to bring up an energy around any particular self-defeating thought or belief or behavior pattern or issue in their life. And then we'll use uh, verbal clearing statements to clear that energy. So what's the history of Access Consciousness? Well, initially when Gary founded uh, Access in 1990, he actually um, developed uh, the first class in Access, which is called the bars. And it, it's actually 32 points on the head that he actually um, channeled. And each point on the head is actually they're called the bars because they actually run from one side of the head to the other. So this way, and there's a few that run front to back. And um, by lightly touching these points that correspond to different areas of your life, um, it will actually discharge the electrical charge on the issue. So we're changing molecular structure or discharging the charge on a belief. So if you have a belief, for example, that um, um, you need to work hard for a living, so does that belief actually serve you? or contribute to your life. So what this will do is it will actually discharge that belief and change it so you actually will have choice. So it creates space so you have choice for something different. Wow, so you're telling me yeah. just by touching your head, yeah. you can change beliefs. Yes. Wow, that's, yeah. that's exciting. So basically, there's points on the head that correspond to joy and sadness. So on the planet, we typically don't do a lot of joy, but sadness is really accepted. So if you're running a lot of joy energies, you know, someone will go like, wow, what drug are you on? But if you're running, you know, if you're sad, they're like, oh, poor you, you know, like what's wrong? <laughs> so basically we're undoing a lot of points of view that we've adopted from any point in time, from society or parents or whatever. So it's actually um, undoing 10 to 50,000 lifetimes of points of view by lightly touching these points in one session and contributing to about 350,000 other people on the planet at the same time. Okay, I'm sure my, my audience is wondering <laughs> how and why. But um, apart from that, you mentioned bars and you mentioned this process. and. Is it possible for an individual to do this process on themselves? Can they learn mm -hmm. how to do this on themselves? Yeah, actually anyone, any age. Um, it's a really simple technique. It's a one day class that I offer to teach it. And um, anybody under 15 is free. So, we, you know, whether you're a kid that's like 8 or 10 years old, or whether you're a senior, anyone, any age, any background, totally able to learn this technique in one day wow. and at the end of that day you will actually be able to run this process on your own head, on yourself, as well as on other people and are a practitioner. So I have to ask, what mm -hmm. led you to access consciousness? How did you become a facilitator? What motivated you? <laughs> yeah, I'd say that first of all, I think access found me. <laughs> um, I actually have a background as a registered nurse for 16 years and specializing in acute psychiatry. And from there I went into um, working as a clinical assistant for naturopath doctors and ventured into 20 years of exploring every type of modality and the metaphysical realm and hands-on healing work, working with Filipino psychic healers, all kinds of things. So um, when I was uh, um, speaking to someone, they just, and I was talking about the recent modality that I was doing, they said, oh, 
um, have you ever heard of access consciousness? And I went like, uh, no, why? And they said, well, you know how you've been the last couple of weeks having these points on your head hurt, and, you've, and I had a yeah. sense that I was being activated in yeah. some way. Yeah. She said, I think you better look at this because I think what you're actually perceiving is these points on this head that this guy that founded Access Consciousness is talking about. <laughs> so I found myself up all night one night um, reading everything on accessconsciousness.com website and there's a lot of information on there. Um, and uh, about 22 to 11 at night I called up this woman that was listed as a facilitator that just happened to be offering a bars class the very next morning at nine o'clock and I phoned you up and I said uh, do you have space in tomorrow's class for me? <laughs> I'd like to register she's like um, tomorrow's class you want to do? Do you know about access? I'm like no so um, that's how I was just it really were called me to it totally then. And uh, within two, the first couple of weeks, I did a couple of bars classes, became a bars facilitator, and found myself booking a flight to California to do the next two classes with wow, Gary Douglas, the founder. <laughs> so um, I like to say that my life slowed down since then, and that was just last fall, then of October, beginning of November. And since then, everything is just, much lighter in my life and more fun and more joyous and a lot more ease. Chill, I have to ask this question. Mm -hmm. We talked about all these different modalities that you that you went through before you came to Access Consciousness. Before going through all those modalities, there must be a point in your life, earlier in your life, that brought you to the metaphysical world. Yeah, I think initially was um, um, when would that have been? That's a good question. When I left my husband. <laughs> when I actually left my husband and my with my daughter who was just over a year old and I actually moved to a new location mm -hmm. and I had a couple of different locations I was interviewing as a, for a nursing position and I ended up in this new town and they had a holistic center and I walked in and I'm like wow I talked to the guy that was working there and he basically you know they were doing all kinds of metaphysical talks and meditation and I hadn't heard of meditation at that time <laughs> and I'm like oh and he just said to me you know I can promise you if you move here you'll find everything you're looking for and I went like whoa that's pretty powerful <laughs> And I went back. That's a pretty deep promise. Yeah. And I looked at him. I said, really? He says, yeah. And he just said, I just have a, I just have a feeling. I just have a sense about this. And that's where I connected in with them. And I ended up um, being quite involved with the center and um, going through a whole, starting my journey, basically, in my own personal journey. Right. and um, my own personal healing and I went through 10 years of being a sponge and reading everything and doing everything under the sun and <laughs> <laughs> um, after that uh, you're ready to give well what ha what occurred was in all of those years I took my a class in Reiki my first level mm -hmm. and I went and I had about my mom and about four friends that wanted to take the class and I went to enroll them and my Reiki master said, oh, well, you don't need to do this and you don't need to do your second level. You can just go out and start teaching. <laughs> and I went like, oh, cool. Like, how's it better than that? And from that point on, everything that I did for the next, you know, how many years, 15 years, I basically just followed my own inner guidance, my own knowingness. And everything that I did as far as whether it was hands-on healing work or whatever it looked like. There was no form, no structure. It was whether I was facilitating groups. Um, I knew the topic. I had no idea what was going to be involved in this workshop I was doing, or whether it was a personal one-on-one -on -one session I was doing with someone. Right. I, it never looked twi the same twice. It just went like And that. totally in the moment. And right. so when I found Access Consciousness, I went, oh my gosh, 
No form nor structure. I love it. Because <laughs> it's exactly where, That's where I've been coming it. from for 20 years. Right. And um, so with that, you know, for 20 years, I'm like, I haven't, I didn't have the belief that I need to be, have certification in anything. So what really surprised me is that the way Axis grabbed a hold of me immediately, and I went, oh, I need to do this. I need to become a certified facilitator and really contribute to um, spreading the word of Access Consciousness and teaching what they have to offer. Right. And my friends were like, uh, you, certification in anything? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> and so they said, why? And I'm like, oh, why is not a question I've asked a lot. And I actually went and I took some time and I sat and I went like, yeah, why this, why now, All why sudden, this point right? in time? And what my knowingness is that I can say is that I have so much respect and honor. So out of honor for Gary Douglas, the founder, and the information that he has actually brought through and the structure and the form, even though there's no form of structure, but the way that he's actually put it into a container that other people can actually learn and utilize. And it's like a step-by-step -step process to being this, which I've never actually encountered in anything I've done. And I went like, oh. And so I recognized um, in what he's brought forth um, an understanding, uh, it gave me an understanding of what I've actually done the last 20 years. Because I didn't have a cognitive understanding. You were just going with the flow I and following your heart, basically. Right? Well, basically, I was totally following my inner guidance, like totally. And I didn't have anybody to talk to or converse with about, you know, how I was able to, to be able to do the things I'm able to do. Right? And now you do, right? Well, I'm actually having some insights, and now I'm like, oh, what else is possible? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, you know, it's like a little kid in a candy store eating M&M's. Ooh, okay, that's a red one. I've had that. Or that's, oh, there's a yellow one. Oh, I haven't had that yet. Let's try a yellow one. What's that taste like? So, um... Can you feel the energy? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so... I've actually, since last fall, have gone through a lot of all of the classes for access. So the bars is the first one, and then they teach a foundation, and level one, and level two and three. And I've completed those all twice, and um, they're all two-day classes except for the bars, which is one day. And now in uh, this August, so that would be 2011, I'm actually attending facilitator training in Costa Rica for seven days with Gary and you were telling me yeah so that will be um, so right now I'm a bars facilitator so that will I'll be a certified access facilitator then which will actually enable me to teach the foundation level one classes starting this fall as well when I get back in September wow yeah